Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe. Bokit. A deep fried sandwich made from bread stuffed with various fillings like spicy chicken, avocado, and vegetables. Bokit, also spelled, Bokit, is a popular and delicious street food in French Guiana and other parts of the Caribbean. It's essentially a deep fried sandwich made from a pocket of dough, similar to a fried bread or donut, that's stuffed with various savory fillings. Here's how to make Bokit. Ingredients. For the Bokit dough, 2 cups of all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 teaspoon of active dry yeast, 1 cup of warm water, cooking oil for frying. For the Bokit fillings, a variety of fillings can be used, such as fried chicken, fried fish, avocado, tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and condiments like mayonnaise and hot sauce. Instructions. Prepare the Bokit dough. In a bowl, mix the all-purpose flour, salt, and sugar. In a separate bowl, combine the active dry yeast with warm water. Allow it to sit for a few minutes until it becomes frothy. Pour the yeast mixture into the flour mixture and knead the dough until it becomes smooth and elastic. You can add a little more water or flour if needed to achieve the right consistency. Let the dough rise. Place the dough in a clean bowl, cover it with a clean cloth, and let it rise for about an hour or until it has doubled in size. Shape and fry the bokeh. Heat cooking oil in a deep skillet or fryer. You'll need enough oil to submerge the bokeh. Divide the dough into small portions and flatten each piece into a circle or oval shape, about 4 to 6 inches in diameter. Carefully place the dough in the hot oil and fry until it's puffy and golden brown on both sides. This typically takes about 2 to 3 minutes per side. Fill the bokeh. Once the bokeh is fried and still warm, slice it open, creating a pocket. Stuff it with your desired fillings, which can include fried chicken, fried fish, avocado, tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and condiments like mayonnaise and hot sauce. Serve and enjoy. Bokeh is typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a portable and flavorful sandwich. Bokeh is known for its crispy exterior and soft, airy interior, making it an irresistible and portable street food. You can find it at food stalls and street vendors throughout French Guiana and other parts of the Caribbean. It offers a wonderful fusion of flavors and textures in each bite. Poulet Colombo. A flavorful chicken stew with Creole spices, often served with rice and beans. Poulet Colombo is a flavorful chicken stew originating from the French Caribbean, and it's commonly enjoyed in places like Guadeloupe, Martinique, and other Caribbean regions. The dish is named after the Colombo spice blend, which is a key component of the seasoning. Here's how to make Poulet Colombo. Ingredients. 3 to 4 pounds of chicken pieces, such as drumsticks, thighs, or bone in breast. 3 to 4 tablespoons Colombo spice blend, available in Caribbean stores, typically consisting of spices like turmeric, cumin, coriander, and more. 2 to 3 tablespoons vegetable oil. 1 large onion, chopped. 3 to 4 cloves of garlic, minced. 1 bell pepper, chopped. 2 to 3 sprigs of fresh thyme, or 1 to 2 teaspoons dried thyme. 2 to 3 bay leaves, 1 to 2 scotch bonnet or habanero peppers, seeds and ribs removed, adjust to your preferred spice level, 2 cups chicken broth, 1 minus 2 tablespoons tomato paste, salt and black pepper to taste, 2 to 3 potatoes, peeled and cubed, optional, for added heartiness, cooked white rice or rice and peas, for serving, instructions, marinate the chicken, in a large bowl, Season the chicken pieces with the Colombo spice blend, salt, and black pepper. Allow them to marinate for at least 30 minutes, but longer marinating time can enhance the flavor. Heat the oil. In a large, heavy bottomed pot or Dutch oven, heat the vegetable oil over medium-high heat. Sear the chicken. Sear the marinated chicken pieces in the hot oil until they are browned on all sides. Remove the chicken and set it aside. Saute the vegetables. In the same pot, Add the chopped onion, garlic, bell pepper, thyme, bay leaves, and scotch bonnet peppers. Saute them for a few minutes until the vegetables become soft and fragrant. Add the tomato paste. Stir in the tomato paste and continue to cook for a couple of minutes. Return the chicken. Return the seared chicken to the pot, along with any accumulated juices. Add broth and simmer. Pour in the chicken broth. Cover the pot, and let the chicken simmer for about 30 to 40 minutes, or until it's cooked through and tender. If you're using potatoes, add them to the pot during this step. Adjust seasoning. 
Taste the sauce and adjust the seasoning with more salt, black pepper, or Colombo spice blend if necessary. Brochette. Skewers of grilled meat, often served with a spicy sauce. Brochette is a popular dish that involves skewered and grilled meat or vegetables. It's a versatile and delicious option that you can find in many countries, and the term is of French origin. Here's a basic recipe for making brochettes. Ingredients. For the marinade, you can use your preferred marinade or sauce. 1 quarter cup olive oil. 2 to 3 cloves of garlic, minced. 2 tablespoons soy sauce. 2 tablespoons lemon juice or vinegar. 1 tablespoon honey or brown sugar, optional for sweetness. Salt and pepper to taste. Your choice of herbs and spices for flavor, e.g., rosemary, thyme, paprika. For the skewers, meat, e.g., chicken, beef, pork, or lamb, or vegetables, e.g., bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, zucchini. Wooden or metal skewers, if using wooden skewers, soak them in water for about 30 minutes before using to prevent burning. Instructions. Prepare the marinade. In a bowl, mix the olive oil, minced garlic, soy sauce, lemon juice or vinegar, honey or brown sugar, if using, and your choice of herbs and spices. Taste and adjust the seasoning as needed. Cut and marinate the meat or vegetables. Cut your choice of meat or vegetables into even-sized pieces, suitable for skewering. If you're using meat, coat it with the marinade and let it marinate for at least 30 minutes to a few hours. Longer marinating time enhances flavor. Assemble the skewers. Thread the marinated meat or vegetables onto the skewers, alternating with different ingredients for a colorful presentation. Preheat the grill. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If you don't have a grill, you can also use an indoor grill pan or broil them in the oven. Grill the brochettes. Place the skewers on the grill and cook for a few minutes on each side until the meat is cooked to your desired level of doneness or the vegetables are tender and slightly charred. Baste with extra marinade, optional. During grilling, you can brush the brochettes with extra marinade for added flavor. Serve. Once the meat or vegetables are cooked to your satisfaction, remove them from the grill and serve the brochettes hot. Brochettes can be customized with your choice of meat, vegetables, and marinades, making them a versatile and delicious dish for any occasion. They are often served as an appetizer, main course, or part of a barbecue feast, depending on your preference. Matutu. A spicy crab dish with vegetables and spices, typically served during Easter. Matutu is a traditional Creole dish commonly enjoyed in the French Caribbean, particularly in places like Guadeloupe and Martinique. It is typically prepared during Easter celebrations. Matutu is a flavorful crab stew made with a blend of spices and herbs. Here's how to make matutu. Ingredients. 4 to 6 medium-sized crabs, live or freshly caught or preferred. 1 large onion, chopped. 4 to 6 cloves of garlic, minced. 2 to 3 scallions, green onions, chopped. 1 to 2 scotch bonnet or habanero peppers. Seeds and ribs removed, adjust to your preferred spice level. 2 to 3 sprigs of fresh thyme. 2 to 3 bay leaves. 1 minus 2 tablespoons tomato paste. 1 minus 2 tablespoons Colombo spice blend. A mixture of spices such as turmeric, cumin, coriander, etc. Common in Caribbean cooking. 2 to 3 tablespoons vegetable oil. 1 cup of water or crab stock, obtained from boiling the crab. Salt and black pepper to taste. Juice of 1 lime or lemon, for cleaning the crabs. Instructions. Clean the crabs. If you are using live crabs, start by cleaning them. Remove the shells, gills, and innards. Cut the crabs into sections, breaking the legs and claws apart. Marinate the crabs. Place the crab sections in a bowl and squeeze the juice of a lime or lemon over them. This not only helps to clean the crabs but also adds flavor. Let them sit for about 15 minutes, then rinse and drain. Saute the aromatics. In a large pot or Dutch oven, heat the vegetable oil over medium-high heat. Saute the chopped onion, minced garlic, chopped scallions, and scotch bonnet peppers until they become fragrant and the onions turn translucent. Add the spices. Stir in the Colombo spice blend and tomato paste. Cook for a few more minutes, allowing the spices to bloom. Cook the crabs. Add the cleaned and marinated crab sections to the pot, and toss them in the spicy mixture. Pour in the liquid. Pour in the water or crab stock, then add the fresh thyme and bay leaves. Season with salt and black pepper to taste. Simmer and cook.
Cover the pot and simmer the crab stew for about 20 to 30 minutes, or until the crabs are cooked through and the sauce thickens. Serve. Matutu is typically served over a bed of cooked rice. You can also garnish it with fresh herbs or additional spices if desired. Matutu is a flavorful and festive dish enjoyed during special occasions in the French Caribbean, especially during Easter. It combines the unique blend of spices and flavors found in Caribbean cuisine. Torment de Mor, a sweet pastry with coconut and guava jam, wrapped in banana leaves. Torment de Mor is a delightful pastry originating from the French Caribbean, particularly in the islands of Guadeloupe and Martinique. The name, Torment de Mor, translates to, loves torment, and these small sweet pastries are known for their delicious combination of coconut and guava flavors. Here's how to make Torment de Mor. Ingredients. For the pastry dough, 2 cups all-purpose flour, 1 half cup granulated sugar, 1 quarter cup unsalted butter, softened, 1 quarter cup grated coconut, fresh or desiccated, 1 egg, 1 half teaspoon baking powder, a pinch of salt, 1 minus 2 tablespoons milk, as needed. For the filling, guava paste or guava jelly, additional grated coconut for sprinkling, confectioner's sugar for dusting, optional, Instructions. Prepare the dough. In a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour, granulated sugar, grated coconut, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Mix to combine. Add the softened butter and the egg to the dry ingredients. Knead the dough until it comes together. If it's too dry, you can add a bit of milk to achieve the right consistency. Shape the dough. Roll out the dough to about 1 8 inch thickness. Use a round cookie cutter or a glass to cut out circles from the dough. Assemble the pastries. Place a small amount of guava paste or guava jelly in the center of each dough circle. You can adjust the quantity to your liking. Fold the dough over to create a half moon shape, sealing the edges well. You can use a fork to crimp the edges for a decorative touch. Bake the pastries. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Place the Torment de More pastries on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Bake for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until they are golden brown. Cool and serve. Allow the pastries to cool, then sprinkle them with additional grated coconut and confectioner's sugar, if desired. Torment de Mor is a sweet and satisfying treat that beautifully combines the tropical flavors of guava and coconut. These pastries are a beloved dessert in the French Caribbean and are often enjoyed on special occasions and celebrations.